guys and welcome back to my channel so today I'll be doing another unboxing and today's unboxing is on DuJour <laughs> I actually purchased all these items which is a wallet sunglasses and a purse back in December I did not have a time to unbox or make a video of me unboxing these items because I was planning my wedding but now that all the planning and the wedding is over, I get to catch up with you guys and unbox everything I bought last year at the end of the year. So this bag that I am going to unbox has been on my wish list since I started collecting Lady DuJour bags. Back in December, I finally decided to pull the trigger and purchase it. So the first thing we are going to unbox is this little package. I love I love all the butterflies if you guys could see in the packaging it is just amazing it is beautiful and let's do it like this so I bought sunglasses and I bought the matching wallet to this specific bag this bag is actually in one of my favorite colors which is burgundy red and comes in a little dust bag this is not the bag this is the wallet <laughs> and doo -doo -doo. how cute is this and I just love the color as you guys could see my nails are red my nails are almost old and here it says du jour and it's a little clip so you could unclip it and then oh. So say Christian du jour here, and it has different compartments, and it's just the perfect size, especially since the bag is a small. It comes with this, and here are the specs. Tells you the color, the style number, etc., etc. But. I usually never buy the matching wallets, but I am going to start since I now find it tacky just to have a different color wallet from a different brand in a different bag. I mean, you guys get my drift, right? But this is it, my beautiful little wallet. And up next, I will be unboxing the sunglasses. So the sunglasses come in a regular packaging. This is backwards. And don't mind this, I dropped the bag. And this is how it comes. In a little pouch, you could call it. I don't know why it's just like that, but okay. And I honestly don't remember which pair I got, but now I do. I fell in love with these. I feel like I have another pair of Azure sunglasses that are similar to this. But I love how they fit on my face. Fabulous. <laughs> so it and the CD on the sides, like a goldish frame. Then in here, they do say du jour. You can't really see it. so tiny but it does say it it says it right here no you guys could see that okay maybe you can't and it has a serial number right next to the du jour then it came with booklet okay, i'm not gonna open this and a cleaning cloth where the sun is. This is how the inside of the little... So one more time for the sunglasses. 
the other ones I have, I feel like these are metal frames and the other ones are like plastic. And I'm pretty sure that the sunglasses I'm talking about, I have unboxed before in a previous video. So now for the grand finale, there's a beautiful, beautiful bag that has been on my wish list, like I mentioned, since I started collecting Lady Du Jour bags. I am so excited to have her in my collection and I am so in love with this packaging. I love butterflies, especially the Baccarat butterfly and I have one similar to this that I got as a gift for my wedding. So I usually throw these boxes out but I'm keeping this one because of the detail. It's like a butterfly garden and I am just in awe how pretty it is. So you guys already saw the wallet, so I'm going to assume you know what color this bag is. I'm not going to assume you guys know it's red. Burgundy-ish red. Which for some reason I have a lot of burgundy bags. I don't have like a regular red bag like this red. Like right now I'm staring at my Chanel bag and it's burgundy. This is what I'm talking about. The red bags that I usually buy are darker in color. You can see the difference in my nails and the bag. But this is usually the colors that I like. They're usually a darker shade of red. That's what I'm trying to get at. bag this one comes in a dust bag and of course I bought the mitzvahs or the tweeties or the scarves whatever you want to call it for it and this is the beautiful bag I am so excited to have her in my collection like you guys don't know how much I have been dreaming of her and she's finally here and the main reason why I mentioned that I don't buy Lady Du Jour bags or I wait to buy them is because they don't have a high retail value and you never know the future, you never know if you want to sell them. So I try to buy an expensive bag that I know holds its value like Chanel or a Hermes bag and then I offset it by buying a bag that doesn't hold its value and you could get secondhand, brand new, cheaper online or at a second hand store so so the misfa i chose has hearts in it it is so pretty and like i always say i got these especially for my lady the jewels because i don't want to ruin the handle with oils or whatever it is i have in my hand at the time i wash my hands a lot but i have this phobia that i'm gonna ruin the handle somehow so i try to protect them as much as i can but it's pattern leather just the cutest thing like all the lady du jours this has the charm that says du jour on it and this is cute look at that beauty the light is so bright you can't really see the color maybe so this is i'm gonna say the true color when it's up close it looks a lot brighter than it actually is but it's not and i've been dying to unbox this specific bags i have a pair of amina moadis that are similar to this color that i've been dying to wear but i've been dying to wear them with this specific handbag like all my other du jour bags or lady du jour bags this one has a flap as well i have to buy an insert so the inside doesn't get damaged and the inside is red Christian du jour, this pocket, small pocket, and this, what is this actually, a little booklet, 
and this card. And the straps are also inside. So this is a regular strap. You could always purchase a different one at the store or something thicker. I actually like the strap for this bag, but I probably won't be wearing it. I am a crossbody girl, but with this particular bag and this particular color, I will not be using this as a crossbody. <laughs> I know. I'm just going to use it like this as a handle bag and it's just so cute. Super cute. So now let me wear the bag so you guys could have an idea of how long it is with the strap. For reference, I am 5'2". And let me see. I wear a crossbody. How pretty. I actually wanted to put the wallet inside the bag so you guys have an idea of the capacity of the bag. much things it could fit. I doubt my phone could fit in here. So this is how it looks. As you can see, there is not much space in there. Like I wouldn't be able to fit my sunnies in there with the pouch. This is how it would fit if my water was in here. And if I adjust my water to try to fit my sunnies, it would still be sticking out. If you're a person that carries around a whole bunch of stuff or need to have your phone in your bag, I do not recommend this one, especially if your phone is big. One more time for my beautiful handbag. I'm not going to show you guys the tag, but it still has the tag on it. And yeah, how fabulous. I love this bag. Matches my nails. <laughs> In the light. Because like I mentioned, it is a darker red. You just can't see it because of the lighting. But guys, that was my quick unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I mentioned... In my previous video, I will be doing a vacation haul unboxing. I'm just waiting for the stuff to get here. I do not want to do multiple videos unboxing multiple things. I'd rather do this haul all at once. So I'm just waiting for everything to get here. And then I'm very excited to do that because it will be my first unboxing and try on video. Also, I have a new blog post up and it speaks on my wedding. So if you guys are interested, make sure to check that out at www.angiechandramani.com. And as always, don't forget to like, thumbs up, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in my next unboxing. See you guys soon. Bye.